quick word on Minsa. Uh, we are a French uh, no-code amazing company and what we do is that we help create, share and distribute augmented and let's start off with basically what augmented reality and virtual reality is. It went from a geekiness kind of adventure with some pioneers back in the 1950s and 60s. Then, you know, mid 70s to 80s, the military, of course, our friends from the military will always find some good ideas. They used augmented reality to help them in their um, different mission um, across the world. And then today, when we think about augmented reality, what do we think about? We think about fun little mini games or you know, ways of sharing experiences with, with others, but it's always quite limited. So technically, when we look at augmented reality today, we only see filters from Instagram, maybe some small little um, Christmas cards and little cards that will be animated and some animated objects. So right now, it's very limited in the opportunities that you can actually cultivate from here. So how do we turn AR into great business opportunities? Well, at Minsa, we've got three very simple keys. The first key is make creation and storytelling easy. I mean, it sounds pretty obvious, but everything that I'm going to be saying is going to sound to you very much extremely obvious. The first thing is to create. When you create, you've got to be use the best tools to create. So we strongly recommend that you create the experience in VR, but you also use the AR, so, you know, all the iOS or Android devices to Shall we say, you know, once the experience has been created, that if you want to make some tweaks, some changes, then you use a AR device to make those changes. So what I'm saying here is in order to make great creations, you need a cross-platform solution that allows you to create in an industrial way or an extremely tailor-made way using VR headsets. And then some tweaking when you're actually in the area where the augmented reality is going to happen uh, using iOS or Android. But the big thing is no code focus. Also, the other thing is we've got to remember who are we, who are we talking to? Who are these people who are actually going to be using and testing and playing with these augmented reality experiences? Well, we are talking about 1.5 billion potential target audience. As we go along next year, Pretty sure this 1.5 billion will grow to 2 billion. So we're talking about a massive potential audience, which means massive business opportunities. We mentioned the creation, but what about storytelling? Today, you know, as I said, most of the augmented reality um, experiences are just a, a one man show, a one man scene where you can just maybe hit some buttons, see an animation, and that's pretty much it. So what we what we've discovered at Minsa is the key is storytelling. The key is to create some scenes within a scene as an inception of scenes. The great thing is that you can create, you know, three, 20, 50, 150 different scenes. They're all linked between themselves, which allows you to go from storytelling to story living, not only for the person who's actually going to be experiencing this augmented reality, but also creating it. So, as many scenes as you can create, that's as many potential revenues that you can also generate. Bear in mind that also by splitting and doing different scenes, all linked again, as I said, between themselves, you'll be able to split the weight of all the assets. So you can not have just one very big heavy scene that's going to take a couple of seconds, if not half a minute to download into small little fun, snappy little scenes. And what you've got to, so for example, the example that you have here, uh, these four captions are basically a visit of a flat. So the first one's a building, the second one's a bedroom, the third one is the um, kitchen, the last one is the living room. So imagine this in real context. You know, you're walking down the street, you have an app from one of the big real estate um, companies, and you get a notification saying, ding, 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 we've noticed that uh, you're interested in a two, three bedroom flat, two and a half a bathroom, and it has to be in this location. And imagine if you just clicked on that link and you just visit there, then and there in the street, this amazing flat. And you know, you go from one room to another, you visit, you zoom in, you kind of share the experience probably with the person who's with you, with who you might be buying the flat. And you can both decide then and there, yes, I want to make a visit or no, swipe right, swipe left. 
So opportunities to increase speed to, to, to decision making and also more elements, more big potential business streams of revenue that you can generate thanks to this, thanks to storytelling. So that's the first key. What about the second key? Well, the second key is we know the audience, you've created a story and you've added some great little snippets of scenes within the story, but you need to deliver that story. You need to market your delivery. We all know the traditional QR code. Let's be objective. I'm not a creative person, but even I think it's a pretty ugly thing that you need to scan. We all know it. So let's move away from the more classical QR codes. Let's make something tailor-made, fun, snappy, that wants you to go and buy. So there it is. To the right, you've got a more, so we say, redesigned QR code. And do you know what? It's more fun. You can tailor make it and you can own it. And the other option, of course, apart from a QR code, would be just a simple link. But that link also needs to be snappy and fun. So that key is very important. You've got all the amazing experiences that you've created. You're ready to deliver it, but let's make it fun. Let's make it sweet, nice that you really want to go further, scan it, play with it, see what comes, make it a surprise. Along with the marketing, your, your basically delivery, you've got to market your assets. Um, assets can be, just a reminder, assets can be videos, it can be 3D objects, it can be pictures, it can be whatever you want, but it's gotta be nice, it's gotta be graphic, it's got to be something that really want you know titters your inside i might even say you know our friend uh, rihanna with fenty has really cultivated the augmented reality scene she's really you know focused on quality focused on amazing assets that you can use but also real estate and the one on the right would be uh, the empty box would be an unboxing so imagine you know you have that amazing qr code you've created an amazing storyline all thanks to mincer obviously and you open that box and as you open that box each element will have an amazing story to tell a sequencing a storytelling a story living so we've marketed so we've created amazing assets we've created an amazing storyline we've created an amazing qr code we've made some amazing assets so what happens next? What's the next and final last key? I would just start by the bottom phrase of this presentation. Seamless, good, downloads, bad. We need to move away from downloading. That means every time that you're gonna scan that QR code, if you've got to download something to see it and to register, that's just a no-go. That's not going to happen. So WebEx, falls into this category. This will allow you to very simply share that again, amazing storytelling, amazing story living, amazing scenes, amazing assets. It will enable you to visualize all of this without having to download anything. Or alternatively, ensure that um, the viewing platform, so for instance, at uh, Minsar, it's XR View, is directly embedded in your customer's app. No downloads necessary. It's already embedded. It's already there. And it will allow your customer to have a much better, smoother, seamless trip in experimenting, in experimenting on this amazing augmented reality experience or experiences. And of course, VR. So once we've got all these codes, that's it. You've got these three keys. So now the whole point is forget about limitations you know, expand every creativity of your, in your fiber that you have to be able to create something really great. So as a summary, three easy, simple, back to, back to basic steps. Maximize your target device using AR in creating, in tweaking all the experiences, but focus on real creation using VR. So for example, the Oculus Quest 2 is something that uh, we, we're happy to announce is, is also gonna be uh, Minsar compatible already got the Magic Leap and the HoloLens too, obviously, and create some great storytelling. Secondly, market your delivery. Think to who you're actually shipping to. Make some really cool, funky QR codes. Create the assets and don't forget the storytelling. And thirdly, basic again, move away from downloading an app just to be able to visualize that single experience. Or of course, 
be web or app embedded. So, sorry. Now the whole point is how you're going to generate that extra business opportunities. Well, I'm just going to share with you some ideas that we've been cultivating here at Minsar. So you know, some of them are pretty simple. One of them I mentioned was a real estate. So imagine you're in the real estate, you get that ping, notification, push notification, you visit that, um, that flat and you can go on. For example, what we've done with Stephen Passaro, he's a, an amazing designer, um, clothes designer in Paris, and he has really embraced a whole augmented reality. If you go on his website and also on his Instagram, you'll see that there are some QR codes, scan them, you'll see something absolutely amazing. That allows him to really push, not only you know, be on the, on the peak of every single creator in terms of the amazingness of what he does, but it also gives a third dimension or a fifth dimension in terms of the content that he can share with you. If we look at the second one, that's also Pissarro. So you can also, you know, instead of having a, a simple, you know, catwalk in the middle of Le Grand Palais, you can you explore all the possibilities. Here it's on uh, Place Vendôme, where we've also uh, had some reality experiences. On the third one, you know, we've created a unique online shop. I know with COVID, it sounds a bit ridiculous, but imagine having The Gap, Chanel, um, Dolce Cabana, et cetera, all these great brands that can have their shop delivered to your home through augmented reality. And all you need to do is look through the lens of your um, Oculus Quest, HoloLens 2, et cetera, and even just your Android or your iPad or, or iPhone and see that shop pick create through url links some virtual virtual basket and then you know you can have it all delivered but at least you've seen it you've kind of felt what it feels like but it all and then finally you know the three last ones the last one we talked about was unboxing and the two ones before one is for a shop for for example orange so you know if you want to choose your phone you can pre-choose your phone and have it delivered you can look at it you can understand you can read all the notice you can share some extra content content same thing for shops and the one where you have that really sweet little big it could be an animation in the street, something fun, something different. But we've got to stop thinking that AI is just limited to one scene. It's a storytelling. It's something different that we need to bring into our lives in terms of how we can see business opportunities. Because each time you're going to be sharing an experience, each time you're going to be sharing some content, that's possible content that someone can actually purchase, use. Or share one last example and I'm actually going to show you a very quick video this was created by someone uh, in house at Minsar it literally took us we put five minutes but really took us about two minutes those are two sets that we bought um, from a from a site and all it is is imagine you scan this this page of a magazine using your phone the two assets appear and you'll be able to see them kind of have a sense of what they look like how they feel how they would look on you and then you can technically go and purchase them just by clicking on them but what's important here is not just the story of those two handbags coming out but it's also the fact that you can update change add some comments change a promotion all these possibilities thanks to augmented reality because the qr code or the shall we say trigger of the experience stays exactly the same, but the content, the story behind it can be changed with a massive exaggeration every second. Very simple, very easy. It's just got to be practicable, updatable, scannable, scalable. So finally, I'm going to ask you to all shut your virtual eyes and I'm just going to share with you a video. Scanning through the magazine with the phone, this was just done through using an iPhone. You have the two assets, um, they're two actual bags from uh, a well-known French designer. What's important here is you can see light, the reflection, the texture. Uh, and all we've done is just approach the phone. There is no scanning. We just literally approach the phone to the, uh, to the asset. Then what happens, we click on the white one and automatically you, you're redirected directly on the website of this famous French manufacturer. All that took us literally three minutes to do. So once again, goes back to the first uh, the first element of my presentation, we were talking about, you know, creating it. This was done on an iPhone. It's got to be a storytelling. The storytelling here is look at the assets, zoom in, understand if what they look like, and then you can purchase it. That's a very simple storytelling. It was very easy to market. 
so we know who our target market is and then basically it's repeatable we can do this again and again and again 